725 Tuesday, Virginia State Police Troopers and Bath County Sheriff's Deputies responded to a 911 call at a residence at 26 Vineyard Drive in the community of Millboro, which is in Bath County. There had been a, a, a domestic situation at the home of Senator Cree Deeds. It appears that it, it was around the barn, which is right next to the house. Senator Deeds, his wife, and his son Austin C. Deeds, known as Gus, lived in the home. But according to state police, only Deeds and his son were home at the time of the incident. Upon arriving, they found uh, Mr. Deeds had suffered numerous stab wounds to his torso and his face area. Deeds was able to leave the scene of the incident on foot. He walked down the hill of his driveway about 75 yards towards Route 42 and encountered his cousin who lives nearby and was driving along the highway. Deeds' cousin saw him in distress, stopped and picked him up. The two then drove in this direction towards the cousin's home. Then they made the call to 911. Police and emergency responders came to the cousin's home to attend to Deeds' wounds. Senator Deeds was then transported by ambulance to a nearby relative's farm where a Carillion Lifeguard 12, which is out of Rockbridge County, was able to land and then transport the injured senator to the University of Virginia Medical Center in Charlottesville for treatment. Police then went to the senator's residence. Gus Deeds was found inside the home suffering from life-threatening injuries from a gunshot wound. Despite the troopers and first responders' efforts, he did die at the scene. His body was taken to the office of the medical examiner in Roanoke for an autopsy and examination. State and Bath County Police blocked off the entrance to Senator Deeds' home where the incident occurred. We had to uh, 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 tape off the crime scene. It's, it is a large crime scene and it's going to take a while to uh, ga gather all the evidence and uh, work the investigation. Geller says the motive and exact circumstances surrounding the incident are still under investigation. But based on the evidence we have right now, we are looking into this as an attempted murder and suicide. Police have said both a firearm and other weapon were recovered from the scene of the incident. They have not said what caliber firearm or what type of stabbing weapon was used. There's a lot of forensic evidence that has to be collected from the scene, ballistics evidence that has to be analyzed and tested through the state lab. So there's still a lot of work to be done. We have uh, mainly our uh, Bureau of Criminal Investigation, Virginia State Police and Bath County Sheriff's Department uh, jointly working this investigation. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Sarah Korashev.